And happening today, the Monroe County Health Addiction Service is holding its first recovery fair, bringing support directly to a one-stop shop for the community. Hayden Wentworth joins us now with why something like this can be the start of a very different life for someone who may be struggling. Hayden. Isabel, Monroe County officials wants the community to know if anyone is struggling with addiction of any kind, there are available resources and to show that those resources were brought to the community. More than 1,000 overdoses have been reported in Monroe County so far for this year. Dr. Tisha Smith from the Monroe County Department of Public Health says there is help available. It's extremely important for the community to uh, be made aware of the services that are available to both families and people that are suffering from substance use disorder in our community. Instead of focusing on addiction, it's a great way for us to kind of unite and kind of celebrate recovery and be one as a community. And while celebrating recovery, supporters say there is one major component. Connection is such an important part of establishing that first change and you get to meet all types of um, those connections that bring you just a little bit closer to making any sort of change. Adding for some, it may take one step at a time. In general, it's very difficult to make huge changes in our lives, but it's much easier to make these small changes and then get a foothold uh, and build scaffolding based on those little positive changes. The most important thing they want you to know, their support every step of the way. It's good for the individual, it's good for the community as a whole, uh, and it's, yeah, it's just a good feeling just to engage people wherever they are, meet them there, uh, and try to assist them in self-directed positive change. County officials say they have been working specifically focusing on opioid and sus substance abuse, making sure those who are on the road to recovery can continue with positive changes. In the studio, Hayden Wentworth, News 8. Isabel? All right, Hayden, thank you very much for that report. Delphi Rise and Villa of Hope are just a few of the many resources available to receive that support. A full list of providers is available on our website at rochesterfirst.com.